Wow, look at that. I got a brand new sweatshirt on, but that's not the exciting part. What I'm really, really looking forward to telling you all about is the new toys we got for Boogaboo. Woohoo! Yeah, so the big exciting news is, and the reason that I had to come to the boat to tell you that, is that we bought a new dinghy for Boogaboo. If you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and even I've revived my Twitter uh, account, um, you'll have seen that I've been posting pictures of that unit already. It is a new Highfield 290, I believe, CL, and that is their classic line. It is a hard bottom rib boat. It is an aluminum hull with the, I think it's, 17 inch or 18 inch tubes so it looks like it's gonna be very very comfortable for us now the reason that we uh, zeroed in on the high field and that particular model uh, the CL classic line as they call it is because it has not only the hard bottom which is what we are after because that's what we had in the last boat if you look um, a couple of videos ago uh, there's some pictures of the uh, mercury rib that we had that was fiberglass bottom now the high field is aluminum and um, the, the great benefit, one of the big selling features is that the forward uh, section right at the bow, there is a molded in seat slash storage area slash place to put the gas tank, which we really like. Now, again, with that hard bottom hull and that classic line, it's a V hull, of course, but the floor is flat. So they weld a separate flat section. So when you're walking across there, you actually have, you know, you're not disappearing into the V which we thought was going to be very, very convenient for us, especially now that we're getting older. And hopefully we will bringing, uh, be bringing tiny little uh, Corona the kitty cat with us. So um, he'll be able to move around a little bit easier, even if he doesn't, even if he doesn't like the, the dinghy. Fair enough, it'll be more comfortable for us. Now, um, that forward seat, like I say, that storage unit, um, there is a built-in gas tank. It's a removable plastic uh, fuel tank. That gas line will run underneath between the false floor and the bottom of the hull and back to the stern where the motor is. And that will get the gas tank out of the way. It's not going to be sloshing around. And that fuel line will be out of the way too. So it's going to be safer, more convenient, easier for us. And as well, um, we're going to help balance the weight on the boat because it's going to be motor at the back fuel at the front so uh, it's not going to be motor and fuel at the back so you know a little bit of stern heavy and going through the water like this yeah so we're very very happy about that very excited um, now that is going to be mated to a 9.9 uh, Yamaha four-stroke outboard motor is what we got for it uh, again I've been posting pictures on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter so hopefully you guys follow me there too and you know you can see some of the stuff some of the behind the scenes uh, type of uh, detailed information if you will and again as I mentioned previously uh, the reason that I wanted to go with Yamaha is because we had Yamaha on our prior dinghy and we're very very happy with it It was a eight horsepower two-stroke this is gonna be a little bit bigger uh, more uh, stronger hopefully a 9.9 .9 four-stroke and um, the boat that we got slash getting is rated for 15 horsepower but i don't think we're going to need that extra power we're not going to be doing any races just going to be doing some cruising around in gorgeous georgian bay and wherever else we get to and so we want to be able to lift it you know comfortably onto the boat ourselves just anchor girl and i without the means of a winch or anything else and i'll touch on that in just a second as well um the boat is currently sitting uh, where we bought it at CO2 Inflatables. They are up in Midland, Ontario. It's about an hour, hour and a half away from uh, the marina here. Uh, hour and 50 minutes, let's say. And um, the reason that the boat is still sitting there is because we're still surrounded by ice. And living in a condo with no garage, we literally have no place to store. I could put it inside the house, but it'll be just in the way. Um, so they're okay with storing it there you know keeping it in their in their in their store um, until such time as we pick it up which is awesome um, want to give a big thanks to co2 both Jamie as well as Les at co2 inflatables uh, for helping us out and giving us a great deal good service very happy with it would highly recommend them 
there, both Highfield as well as Yamaha dealers, obviously, because we got a package deal from them. Um, also got a cover for that boat and uh, yeah, some other stuff. So we will be getting the boat to us once the ice clears out. If worse comes to worse, we can always store it behind our place because we, we are on the canal front. Um, the motor is already sitting at home because I just had to have something to play with. Um, yeah, so that's that. We're very, very super excited about uh, that whole package and being able to be having a dinghy with us once again. And of course, once it goes in the water and once we pick it up, I will be sharing a lot more with you guys and giving a full overview with it. And of course, taking out for a spin or two or five or ten. <laughs> It'll be fun. So now the next question is, I know some of you guys already started typing in the comments, what kind of Davit system are we getting? Well, after, after pondering and looking back and forth, Anchor Girl and I were online and trying to find as many videos and descriptions and pictures and blah, 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 and trying to figure out what is going to be best for us. We have settled on dingydavits.com and they are going to be the extended Davits, which will go beyond the swim platform. Now, the reason we did that is not because we need the extra space. We have our swim platform is roughly 48 inches deep. Uh, so even if it was sitting on the swim platform, we would still have enough room to walk by. But what we're trying to achieve is getting davits that are going to be lower to the water. So in talking with Mark at dingydavits.com, who is, again, super helpful. Um, I've been back and forth with him and twisting his ear quite a bit and, and trying to figure out how that system is going to work best for us so what we've determined it's going to be probably about five inches closer to the water our current swim platform sits roughly 14 inches above the water so we are trying to get something we're trying to develop a plan that would be have the boat uh, that we don't have to lift it up as high out of the water as possible because again like i said anchor girl and i are getting older and now uh, we want to relieve the strain on our back um just a quick note and a bit of a shout out to Hurley Marine, because I've been talking to them as well and looking at their different systems. And yeah, we were looking at a motorized lift and a hand winch and everything else and just figured that that would be a little bit of overkill for what we need. And so, like I say, looking at the entire package, the reason that we got the dinghy is because we like the features of it. It's big enough that for what we're going to need. Uh, we're not going to be cruising on it. We're not going to be spending super amount of time on it just be able to uh, have the ability to get off the big boat if we're at anchor or at a dock somewhere or whatever launch it and go out around and do some uh, gunk holing and exploring so we don't need a big one maybe head to the store for ice whatever um, so that's all we need so we needed the size the package the liftability you know something that's fairly light for us to move and um, looking at anything bigger or looking at uh, a system that Hurley offers where you can winch the boat up either manually or electrically uh, it, it was just gonna it would it was gonna be getting a little bit um, not out of hand but more than what we need for our current setup and the current big boat as well as the dinghy that we're gonna have um, so again looking at the dinghy davits option um, it's something that we can remove from the boat when it's not used, put it away, put it in storage, because it'll be small, compact, and stow it away somewhere. And it won't look unsightly or, or in the way. And um, once I get those davits, I'm gonna be sharing with you a little bit more about them when they show up. They are on order. Hopefully I'll get them within the next few days. Um, and we are gonna be doing some uh, some customization, shall we say, to those uh, to that system. So. Yeah, I'll be sharing that with you as well. So uh, if I don't get a video beforehand, uh, again, go to Boating with Boogaboo, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, and I'll be sharing some pictures with you, maybe even some short video clips. Um, and the benefit of <coughs> looking at those photos is you don't have to hear me talk on and on and on about these things. <laughs> Yeah, so to wrap up, uh, very happy, very exciting. I was saying to Anchor Girl 
um, today just before I left to come to the vote. Um, I, I called her into the front room where we store our uh, the dinghy, where the dinghy is being stored right now, and we'll be there in the winter as well. And I said, come here, I want to show you something. I said, I put my arms around her and I said, you know what? When I come to this dinghy, or sorry, when I come to the outboard and look at it, it, it gives me butterflies in my stomach. I'm getting so excited, so pumped, so excited about the upcoming season. Um, like I think I mentioned, today is the first full day of spring. we got beautiful weather, which is getting the juices flowing. And really, really looking forward to it. And really looking forward to the new uh, dinghy outboard and our davit system so i'm going to leave you uh, links down in the description please look in the description and um, you'll see links to co2 inflatables where we bought the dinghy as well as uh, dinghydavits.com which is pretty easy to know or uh, to remember i should say as where we're getting the davit system from and like i say i'll keep you guys all updated and uh, show you what the entire package looks like in a full rundown on that beautiful Yamaha four stroke and uh, yeah let you know all about that uh, I just want to wrap this up by saying that um, it was awesome as well and inspiring when we headed up to uh, co2 inflatables last weekend to pick up the motor in Midland and just seeing because that that was just the time when it was turning the season all the snow was melting or had melted off to a great extent and it was good to see open fields snowless fields even Midland Harbor the um, the icebreaker, Canadian Coast Guard icebreaker, was through there a uh, couple of days ahead of that. So they made a path through the ice um, to let the ships go through there because there are Great Lakes freighters that uh, attend to Midland Harbor periodically throughout the season. Um, so that was nice to see. Um, pretty much all the small rivers that are flowing into Lake Simcoe, where we live and boat out of, uh, all the rivers are open up. Uh, ice is starting to crack up and uh, <laughs> crack up. <laughs> it cracks me up. No, I'm sorry. I should say break up, which is again very inciting, very inciting, very exciting, very inspiring. You see, and it makes me talk too fast. So, yeah, so that's that. So, give this one a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it and you're enjoying it. And leave some comments down in the uh, in the uh, comment section. <laughs> Or somewhere else and uh, let me know what you think about that and hopefully you guys are just as as excited as I am uh, for the upcoming season it's coming fast my friends and let me know if uh, your experiences with your dinghy your boat your motor your launch schedule whatever we're almost there folks actually right now I am here <laughs> anyways love it love it love it love it super excited I'll see you on the next one all right cheers mm -hmm.